Hi, Jessica here. Uh, I want to take a minute and talk about uh, Skills Practice 11 and kind of walk you through it, but I don't want to walk you through it in the sense that you would click everywhere I'm clicking and do exactly what I'm doing because the Lesson 11 Skills Practice is all about experimenting with adjustments and adjustment layers. And so I want to talk a little bit about the expectations. Um, starting off with, the main expectation is that um, I'm going to show you some examples, but you're going to choose your own images and apply the adjustments the way that you think that they should be applied. And so if we take a look at the requirements, you'll see that I would like you um, to choose five of the, the choices below. And if you want to go beyond the five and experiment with more of the adjustment layers that are available, because as we learned in the lecture, there are 19 available, uh, by all means, keep doing it and post it and just write what you did uh, as you post it in the discussion thread. I already created some examples, and so you can kind of see what we're going for, but basically I just want you to practice applying these adjustments so that you have it in your wheelhouse. And so when we start to get to the more creative projects, because in Art 1280, the projects start out very skills-based and they slowly transition to be more and more creative-based. And so you've been making like book covers and album covers and um, collage images and travel postcards and things like that. Um, and I don't want to have to tell you exactly what to do for those. I want you to think back and say, Remember that cool technique where we applied a gradient map to that picture? That was a really cool effect. Maybe I could use that for my stylized postcard. And so let's just go through. I'll do all of the options. You only have to choose five if you're participating or you're encouraged to do five. Um, so first we will apply a solid color adjustment layer to an image to change the overall color of the image. I would even accept if you wanted to use it to change the color of the background, which requires a layer mask. Also consider lowering the opacity if you feel it looks better that way. Don't forget, in order for the color to mix with your original image, you will need to choose either the color or the hue or another layer blending mode. And so I provided these images up here. You don't have to use these images. You can use your own images. Um, but we'll grab one of them. Let's just grab a statue, go in order. I'll save it and toss it on my desktop. I'm going to call it Lesson 11A. It would help if I spelled lesson correct. We can then go ahead and find it on the desktop. I've got a little bit of a mess going on. Open it with Photoshop. And then one of the things I always like to do is never work with a locked background, so I'll double click and make that a regular layer. You can apply an adjustment layer by hitting the little black and white icon, choose solid color. Now when you apply it, it's going to default to whatever color you used last. I'm just going to leave it at the blue, that's fine with me. But in order for it to really do something, I either have to put it in the background to make it change the color of this image. And this is a really good image if you wanted to change the background color because we could use the magic wand tool. And my tolerance is set to 32 now. You can grab the entire background. We can hold shift and get the little pieces we don't have. Uh, you can even be proactive. Well, let's grab this little piece down here. You can uh, feather your selection. So I'm going to do select inverse. So I have the statue selected. And then I am going to choose select and then modify feather. And I'm going to modify, let's say, three pixels. And then I'm going to create before I, I worry about that background color, I can create a layer mask. It'll keep the area I had selected, it gets rid of the background, and the benefit of the adjustment layer is you can always double click and change the background to a color that you like better. And so if you like the green background, you can change that color. I'm gonna do undo, so edit, undo, edit, step backwards. I don't want to do the background color. What I would rather do, Command D or Control D, deselect, I'd rather sit the color on top and then use a blending mode to change the color of the entire image. And so that's, I actually really like that. I think that's pretty cool. If you didn't like it, you can always consider lowering the opacity a little and it will blend your original image in with the color. And so now it looks like we have kind of a, a cool, in terms of color temperature, a cool statue instead of the warm statue that we started with. 